Jill Peters, uh, Program Coordinator, Kids Zone and Teen Zone for Fort Erie, Crystal Beach, Port Colburn, Welland, Thorl, and Chippewa. Jill Peters has been working in recreation programming for youth for over 15 years worldwide. From Acro Kids in Alaska to the Matrix game in the Mediterranean, she believes in creative, resourceful, and divergent thinking that challenges participants to push the boundaries of personal growth and development. Jill is currently employed as a program coordinator with the Boys and Girls Club of Niagara, overseeing seven youth and teen programs regionally. Today, she will touch on a few of the activities, including their goals and outcomes currently being implemented in these after-school programs. Jill? Okay, so... Uh Hi everyone. <laughs> um, so I was asked to speak basically as your um, more of your frontline, you know, staff kind of. So I'm not actually frontline. I don't work with the kids anymore, but I supervise the staff that do. Um, so I can touch a bit more um, about uh, the different programs that you might even be able to access on Lynn. Um, uh, and I'll touch specifically on three of them and how they meet our, our uh, goals and, and whatnot. So we as, at the Boys and Girls Club are accredited from the High Five organization. So a lot of the programs that we implement directly have goals that relate to uh, the principles of healthy child development that um, the High Five organization uh, talk about. Um, so that being said, the first, uh, the first activity that I will talk about um, is... Um, uh, one that we do with the kids um, to kind of provide that caring adult role that um, the youth that we serve, the at-risk youth, um, who mo most of them are, um, it's, it's a way for them to get the, uh, to fill the gap that they might not be getting at home. A lot of our programs run right after school and they might run up until nine o'clock at night. And if you think about it, that means that um, their parents might have put them in before care, um, before they go to school, get dropped off at school. They're in school all day. We have them right after school and they're with us until, you know, up to nine, nine thirty at night. Um, so what kind of role are those parents taking in their kids' lives? Um, there's a big gap there. And obviously that's where we want to try and fill it. Um, so uh, the, the activity that we do with them comes, um, it's called best part, worst part. It happens in our opening circle where we take attendance and where we give the kids any um, announcements that we have. And it basically, um, it, it's, um, we, we start at the beginning of the week with best part, worst part. Um, what was the best part of your day and why? And what was the worst part and why? And it gives us a chance to um, show that as leaders, as role models, we care about these kids. Um, we are invested in their interests, in uh, what they uh, they like, what they find, um, you know, what, what obviously is, is good and makes them happy. And then on the other scale, um, what they find challenging, what, um, you know, means that they've had a bad day. And um, that opens up a lot of opportunities for us to then engage them further and, and try and plan activities that would mean that we could, you know, make their day better or address some of those things that they've said, oh, I've had an awful day because of this or that. Um, so it really gets them talking about, um, you know, about, about them and their interests and, and how their day was. And we, um, we do other things. We, we ask them other questions, all open-ended, obviously. Um, and, uh, you know, try and get them thinking about, uh, about things other than, um, you know, what stuff they're, they're talking about with their friends and, and whatnot and challenge them to kind of think a little bit um, further outside the box, et cetera. Um, so yeah, so that, I mean, our, our goal there is to strengthen their, their, um, uh, exposure to and their bonds with a, a caring adult, right? Someone who's that uh, older figure who they might not have a lot of contact with outside of school, outside of their teacher, which is a different role altogether. Um, so the second activity uh, that I'd like to talk about is, um, called K-Stomp. Um, and basically we, uh, we, 
we like to do things, I like to do things um, a bit outside the box, a bit out of uh, the norm of what you hear is happening in uh, after school programming. Um, and something that's creative that gets the kids thinking again in a different way. And um, so this activity we've just started to implement. Um, it is, uh, it was based on Stomp, the musical or the live show that goes around touring. And uh, we've kind of modified it um, to fit our needs uh, as in an after school program. Um, so we, you know, we hope to challenge the kids to create um, their own instrument uh, you know, that, that uh, they can use, they feel comfortable with, they, you know, um, hopefully are, are thinking, uh, you know, a bit innovatively um, in terms of what they get. And, um, and then we break the kids into to smaller groups and, and we have vo kids volunteer to be the conductors of their own mini shows. And then at the end of the session, they present it um, in front of all the kids. And obviously they take turns being the conductors. And um, it's just a great way of, of um, letting them express their creativity um, and exposing them to new things that maybe they haven't been exposed to. A lot of times, you know, this might be, they've, they've maybe never heard of something like this because obviously their parents can't afford to bring them to a show like this. And so that would be something they would, wouldn't have exposure to. And, and, and you know, we, f we feel like it's our duty as, as aftercare workers to provide them with that exposure to these new and interesting creative ideas. Um, so the last activity that, um, that we uh, have just started to implement is called Acro Kids. Um, we are trying to, really address the um, issue of um, l the lack of physical literacy that's happening right now with our youth um, and by exposing them to new forms of physical activity we're hoping that we can get we can pique the kids interest and 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 develop skills um, and an interest in them early on that will hopefully uh, continue the process for them of learning new physical activities and being involved and getting moving and active and whatnot. So um, Acro Kids is, um, I guess it's a new trend um, in uh, fitness for adults as well right now, kind of like the Zumba thing has started. Um, now the Acro thing um, is, is starting. And so we've... Um, scaled it down into a smaller, safer uh, version of what happens when you, you know, in gymnastics programs and whatnot. Um, and it's basically, we're trying to challenge them to do different things um, and to, to express themselves um, through body movements that aren't usual you know, i.e. the traditional, bat, let's play basketball after school or, you know, let's uh, run around the gym five times or do jumping jacks, etc. cetera. Um, and it's a, a way that um, is, we approach it in a non-threatening way to hopefully uh, increase the, the participation or the, at least the interest in uh, the activity. So that's... Um, that's our third, uh, we've, I've, I have done it before, actually on a cruise ship, go figure, um, with kids. And it was extremely successful and we are just starting to be in the planning stages of it now and looking into what resources we can pull, um, i.e. gymnastic teachers and whatnot, again on a limited budget, i.e. none. Um, so uh, stay tuned for hopefully some success stories or maybe even trends happening um, with that. Yeah, so um, that's that's it short and sweet for me. Um, I hope that I could have been a good link for uh, some of the programs that you run or you, um, you know, you have staff running. Um, generally, I think we, you know, we're trying to, all of us here, we are Care, we are concerned and, and um, are trying to better the physical, emotional, social, intellectual uh, growth and development of the kids that we serve. And, um, and my piece specifically, I like to do it in a way that's a bit uh, out of the box thinking, innovative stuff that will push the kids to, um, you know, to, to try new things because I am so passionate about thinking that that's where greatness comes from, really, right, is the new stuff. So, yeah, thank you. <laughs>